everyone. Well, thank you very much for watching or listening today. Today I've got a very special guest uh, and I've been very excited to interview this man for quite a while. And I've said that about my last few guests, but in this case, even more so. Because today we have a very, very special fighter, but not just a fighter. Today's interview also carries a very important social message as well about some of what this man has overcome to get where he is today. But before we get into that, I'm, I'm just going to say this is... Bachir Fakuri, and to give you some of his uh, career highlights, some of you will know him more for the bare knuckle um, side of the game, which is very, very well known for competing for BKB. But as well as that, he's also an elite uh, Taekwondo competitor as well uh, for the GB squad, British champion in K1, full contact world champion as well. And uh, have I missed anything? When I was younger, when I was younger, my man, when I was younger. <laughs> 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 oh well, no, you're you're still you're still young now and, and looking great. <laughs> getting on, getting on. Thank yeah. you for coming on, though. Thank you for making Thank the you, time. Man. Thank you very much for having me on as well. Oh, absolute pleasure, absolute pleasure. So yeah, I mean, you've accomplished a lot. Like I say, when I was just going through that, I was thinking, wow, you know, it's it's there's some great achievements there. But you're going to be fighting for Spartan Promotions now, very soon, uh, February yep. 26th. Yep. At the time of this interview, it's just uh, towards the end of January, so February 26th is coming up fast. And you're going to be competing in the hay bales, eight foot by eight foot uh, Spartan promotion. So talk us through a little bit about that. You know, what attracted you to wanting to fight for them? Um, what, how you're anticipating the fight? How you're looking forward to it? Just anything you'd like to share about uh, Well, listen, yeah, just, just joined them, signed a two-year contract with them, which Christian's been good enough to, uh, to offer me. Um, looking forward to it. I mean, we went up, well, I went up to actually fight, but the guy didn't turn up. So, but Christian looked after me. Reimburse me, pay me the whatever we agreed, and uh, but listen, we got a final twenty six. It's it's raw. It's um very different, really, um to anything else. It's not bare knuckle boxing. It's just a punch up. It's straightforward aggression. There is no time limit. There's no hand wraps. There's nowhere to bounce about. There's nowhere to move. Um, it's exciting, and that's why I'm giving it a go. You know, I've signed for them. You know, enough at the end of my career, really. I'm getting on. So turn up, have a good punch up. Um, and see where we go from there, do you know? Um, I can bang, can't box, as we've seen the last two bare knuckle fights. Uh, but we'll have to see, we'll have to see. It's, um, it's a good day out. It's a great, great promotion. Um, and hopefully we'll see what happens. Hopefully, Jason, he's, um, he's a good guy. He's, he's, uh, he's experienced. He knows what he's doing. He can bang as well. Um, and he's, we already speak. The weird thing is we're actually mates already, so, you know, weirdly. We're going to turn up, shake hands, have a punch up and have a beer after. I mean, what better than that, you know? If you want to see two people have a fight, turn up, you know? It's, uh, it's cool, it's relaxed, it's easy and it's a good day out. So, you know, we'll see, we'll see. It might suit my style, but it will suit my style. So, um, we'll see, see what happens. You get caught in the chin, you're out anyway, mate, by anybody's standards. So, you know, put that chin down and swing, hopefully catch him. So yeah, that's it. No, it's it's good. It's good. What we when we I went up there by myself, me and my missus, and we enjoyed it. We enjoyed the day. We enjoyed it. So that's why I decided to sign for him. So, um, I mean, I fought twice for for BKB. That's TM. Um, I sort of did my own thing. They're saying that you know I left. Well, they 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 said they wanted me to leave, but they offered me a fight. Listen, it's neither here. They're a great promotion. Got some of the best bare knuckle boxers. Full stop probably in the world, if I'm honest. Um, and that's not saying the guys I fought. The guys I fought, both of them, are still ranked in the top. They're both fighting for British belts now. So, yes, they're good guys. Yes, I've got two losses, but it's not like I fought bums. You know what I mean? Everyone, Everyone's very easy on social media to go, oh, right, shit, two. So I've lost two fights. Wow. Do you know what I mean? So what? Do you know what I mean? I do it because I enjoy fighting. Do you know? And the people that support me, my real supports, people that buy tickets, know what they're going to see. You know, it's not going to go points. I'm going to turn up and have a punch up and... Um, when I'm beers after, you know, it's um, it's relaxed, it's cool. So, uh, but yeah, no, really looking forward to this, really looking forward to it. Got to put a bit of weight on, which is also fun rather than cutting it. Um, and sort of changing, oh, well, I say changing my style. I've never boxed anyway. You know, I'd come from a taekwondo background, kickboxing background. So, um, and I gave BKB a go because I enjoy fighting. But what I did realise is, you know, a boxer, a pro boxer, which is what they are, Without gloves on, well, obviously punch my head in. But, you know, I thought maybe I'd catch him on the chin because I'm heavy-handed. Never really shown it at BKB. Um, but hopefully this, we will see, you know. We will see We'll see what I can do. And do you know what? Even if I lose, I don't really care. Do you know what I mean? We'll still be mates. And do you know what? I'll still carry on fighting. So, you know, with bare knuckle, one wrong move, you're out. You're out cold. So, you know, it's going to be good. It's going to be fun. It's going to be explosive. 
um, and we'll go from there. You know, we'll, we'll see, see what happens. Incredible. Well, we're all looking forward to it. I think I speak for fight fans everywhere and we're really excited to uh, obviously see you in there. When some of this was announced around the last show and you were going to be fighting, there was there was a lot of hype. Now, obviously, I know that didn't happen, but you enjoyed the show. Now it's happening this time. I think there's a lot of excitement. Certainly when I see on social media, there's a lot of keen interest towards your fight and the show in general. So keep an eye on this one, guys. February 26th, Spartan Promotions is going to be an absolute banger. It's going to be a cracking show. Yeah, because... So- you know, yeah, and, and every fight, this is the thing, Spartan is such an exciting promotion because every fight is 50-50 and, you know, you don't know what's going to happen and, uh, you know, so it's, it's going to be good. Now, talking a little bit about, obviously, some of your previous uh, fighting experience as well, I mean, you've done a lot in your career and you were quite sort of modest about it there, you know, but you've done a lot in your career. As well as the Taekwondo... Um, yeah, Taekwondo, my background, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, so let's be honest with that, you know, where it started for you. Um, I've done Taekwondo, you really, from a young age, very young, from about 10... Trained virtually seven days a week, black belt second down. Um, well, European champion, fought around the world, um, a, a trial for the Olympic team. Um, really enjoyed myself. That's where I get the kicking from, really. Um, that's why I've never really boxed ever. So just heavy handed in kickboxing. Then went to kickboxing and then K1. I won the ZT belt in Brighton. My current uh, K1 uh, uh, pro record is eight fights, five wins, two losses. So um, and that was as I was getting older and, you know, I just used to rely on really my experience from when I was young, if I'm honest, didn't really put in the work. Um, I fought recently the other day on Contenders, um, a very good undefeated guy, an older guy like me. Um, he was undefeated there, also was on their knockout reel for head kicks. It's world kickboxing champion, so I was told Chinese kickboxing champion. Um, it was a good fight, you know, I knocked him out. Um, and so, you know, I can still, you know, kickboxing is really what I do, but I enjoy now testing myself as you should all do do you know what i mean i can do any kickboxing fight not any you know i get a beating as well but i enjoy bare knuckle because it's fucking real it's uh especially spartan you turn up you just freaking go for it one of you's knocked out one of you's knocked you know there's no uh i'm done with i've trained all my life you know and uh to go back to it i find it a bit boring you know it's uh it's the same and for what do you know what i mean i don't mean that nastily it's cool to, to win belts and, but you know what? I enjoy it. I enjoy fighting. You know, it's a real test of a bare knuckle fighting, especially at this. It's just a test of brutality. It's just like you're looking at other guys. Like when you're actually fighting, when you're in there, you can see their eyes. Because you can roughly tell. Do you know what I mean? You start hitting them. It's lovely. It's not lovely. It's good. It's good. Let me word that correctly. It's and do you know what's also lovely? You want to smash their head. You want to take their head off. And do you know what's even better? Afterwards, you want you want them to be all right to get home to their mums and dads, and do you know what I mean, and their children, and have a beer with them. It's um, it's a weird feeling. It's weird. You want to hurt them, but you don't really want to hurt them. It sounds mental, but it's um, that's the bit I enjoy. Do you know, during that time, you want to friggin' you know take the red off, and afterwards, you want you want them to be all right. Oh, you know, you text them after you're right, bro, and you have a beer with them, and half the time you're good friends. If they're real men, you're good friends with them after. Do you know what I mean? You know, and you're probably friends for life, if I'm honest, because you've experienced something like, uh, that's what they say, brothers, like war. Do you know what I mean? I know it's not war. You know, that it's, um, it's, remember, everyone goes, oh, we're going to war. You're not. It's an agreed, it's an agreement. I chose to do this. All fighters choose to fight, whether it's bare knuckle or not. Sell it any way you want, and good luck to you. But, oh, this war, you're going to kill people. You're not going to kill no one. You know, you both agreed to have a fight. It's an agreement. If you're so scared, you don't want to do it, don't do it. Do you know? You know, it is, you know, but I also want him to get home to his family. I want him to be all right. I want us to be mates after. We're not mates. We're not mates. Not bothered. But Jason, if so far, is cool. He's cool. And we are have a puncher and we'll probably be mates, you know. It's, it's, um, it's sort of weird. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's sort, of, sort of strange, you know, but it's, uh, it's exciting too. Yeah, absolutely. And, and an experience not like anything else, 100%. So with the Spartan fight, then just touching on that briefly as well. Do you have an actual prediction then? You know, as soon as you're obviously quite excited for the <laughs> I'll fight. Tell you the, I know what you're trying to do. I'll tell you the prediction. One of us is being knocked clean out within about under a minute. <laughs> Listen, he can bang. He can bang. He's strong as well. You know, I'm not yeah. taking nothing away from him. I'm coming off of two losses. So he probably thinks he's going to bang me out. I think I'm going to bang him out. That's, that's, why would I fight if I didn't think I could beat him? Why would he fight me if he thought it's just, it's cool. It's, um, and that's what's, you know, it's going to, whoever lands first, it's going to win. There's no boxing. It's just uh, whoever catches each other first on the chin, they're out. There's nowhere to move about. There's no going backwards and forwards. Under a minute, one of us will be giving up, I'm guessing. Well, I don't guess. I know. That's the only way it can end. I uh, can't jump out and say, sorry, mate. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, mate. I didn't mean to punch you in the head. <laughs> I didn't mean to punch you. 
you know, one of us is being knocked out. <laughs> and then when yeah. we drink after have a few beers and we have a laugh about it, you know? Yeah. That's the great thing. That's another great thing about the game, though, you know, is the respect as well, you know, between the different guys, especially at Spartan. But, you know, with Bare Knuckle as a whole, the respect is absolutely fantastic. You know, more again, I'd say, than in some other sports I've worked in, like some of the MMA and boxing and all that. It's really well, the reason why that is, my man, listen, the reason why, if you've actually had a fight or Bare Knuckle fight, whatever, how can you say he's an RB? Is this, you just beat you. What are you going to do? He's an RB. He's beat you up. <laughs> yeah, just smashed your engine, mate. Oh, no, he's an RB. Yeah, well, he's beat you, didn't he? Well, there's nothing to say. You know, you've had your fight. You've had your disagreement. You shake hands. You know, and it's, it's fucking cool. And then everyone's good. Have a beer, hopefully. Have a laugh, you know, and move on to the next one. Too many people, they love like, you know, I've lost twice in Bare Knuckle, like I said to two of the best bare-knuckle boxers in the country, really. They're both fighting for British belts, no matter what people say they are. Um, but, you know, another thing, sometimes I get annoyed, I'm not going to lie, like, you know, I've come from a kickboxing, I never said I was a boxer, I just chose to take this, this route. So, listen, it's like hitting a pro boxer and saying, let's have a tie boxing fight, come on, stick you in a ring. It would be, it'd actually be hilarious, so I'd just wipe the floor with them, do you know what I mean? They wouldn't know where they were going, they wouldn't know what kick was coming, whether it was a, you know, a spinning back kick, a spiral kick, a spinning, they wouldn't know nothing. And that's sort of, um, but that is really pushing yourself. Fighting is fighting, yes, it's bare knuckle, do you know what I mean? Who cares, it's just a fight, you know? It's um, really push yourself, you know? I did lose twice, I've never boxed. These guys are all box, you know? Not, not the guys now, but in my past, you know? Um, yeah. And that's why, you know, this, this will be a good test, you know? Not a test, a good punch up and a good, you know, the shows I've seen, the shows I've been to, they're a good laugh, mate, and there's a good punch out. It's very, very raw. If you love real violence, like people say they do when they go to bed, knuckle, you're going to see it, you know? And that's not me. I'm saying, in general, all the fights. Frigging good fights, you know? And you know what? I've left, I, have, I left, no matter what they say, to move to this company um, for my own enjoyment, really, not for any other reason. And you know what? I've had... More, more into not not interaction, more sales or anything like that. And this isn't giving it, a, you know, this is not being an upspot or anything. More people from up north that I do not know buying tickets that I don't know, and that is people will do want to see whatever. Do you know, it's, it's what it is. Most of the time, fighters, I mean, me included, you sell to your friends and family and people from their gym or whatever. This time, it's six hours away from my house. This fight, I don't know anybody there. I'm going up with me and my missus, a couple of pals, you know, and I've sold about. 10 down where I am, 12 where I am, their local friends and their families, or missus, we're going to go up. Most of the other tickets, 30 so far, and we're still five weeks out. There is interest for it. No matter what people say, there's interest for it. You know, it is, you know, and good luck to it. Do you know what I mean? Hopefully it's going to be good. I know it'll be a good show. Can't guarantee I'm going to win. No one can guarantee that. But, you know, it'll be cool. It'll be good fun. Incredible, yeah. Well, like I said before, we're all looking forward to it 110%. It's going to be amazing on all counts. I want to look back real quick at, at the kickboxing and, and that side of things, and then we'll go we'll go forward into a few other things. Because we sort of skimmed over, you know, the, the kickboxing and taekwondo, but, you know, you did a lot there. You had some very big achievements. When you look back on it now, is there, like, a particular fight or a particular belt or a particular something, you know, more on the kickboxing and, and the... Basically, I mean, your career is, it is like that. It's like hands and feet, you know. It's like you've, you've yeah, that's in. right. Yeah, more kickboxing. Oh, no. Like, you, you know, when you're you more know, the proud. last The last fight I was very proud of. Do you know why? Mm. I'd left, obviously, kickboxing and, and really gave my heart and soul to learn to box at nearly 38, if I'm honest, 38 years old. Learn to box to, because out of respect for bare knuckle boxing, because no matter what people think, there is, it is an art and it is a sport, you know. And you know what? It's very hard to learn. No matter what people think, it's not just a straight up punch up. So that last fight, considering I came up with two losses in bare, bare knuckle, which, you know, it does, you know, it is, it does hurt. Do you know what I mean? If you're a real fighter, yeah, you can shake it around, but it does hurt. You go home and you think, fucking hell, do you know, depression, you know, and it's hard to get back into it. So I took the kickboxing fight, which is what I know, at a good level. You know, this isn't a local show down the road. Do you know what I mean? This was a, you know, contenders, a great show, do you know? Um, and, you know what? It went very, very well. So it gave me that boost again to go back into to bare knuckle. Do you know what I mean? You don't want to keep losing, you know, no matter who you are, do you know? Um, and, you know, no matter what, two losses feel like a hundred to me. They feel I've replayed them over and over again in my frigging head, you know? Two bare knuckle losses. Well, I only had two bare knuckle fights, but against the best guys, but in my head, it's like a hundred. So that gave me the boost to get back training, you know? And this will be another bare knuckle fight. Um, and we'll go from there. Do you know what I mean? So... We will see, we will see. But yeah, I think the, the best, one of the best ones for me was the comeback, was the last K1 fight, because it was a sort of comeback. When I was younger, 
I was quite good. I was young, very, very fit, trained all the time. You know, it, I used to just sort of, you know, it felt like easy a lot of the time. If I'm, I was never in wars, do you know what I mean? A lot of the time I'd catch them quite easy or, you know, they wouldn't handle, you know, whatever, like, you know, the, the kicks or my hands, you know. So, you know, they weren't wars. His FT belt was also great, winning a, a belt and fighting abroad. I fought in Nigeria. I fought in Argentina. I fought um, in Germany. I fought around, you know, all around. The Olympic trials was good. Um, I mean, I've got lots of things I can really, you know, talk about. But you know what? It's 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 coming back from losses. That's how, especially as you get older. Do you know what I mean? It's uh, and you know, <laughs> social media. That's all I want to talk about is your frigging losses. You know, nobody nobody really says. You know, like I said, you know, get, you know, you guys, you know, get, do kickboxing. You know, come from kickboxing to kickboxing, whether it's bare knuckle or not. It's a different sport. You know, and boxing is a frigging art, no matter what people say. These guys are experienced. And they know they can just see your hands ain't up, or do you know what I mean? Your chin's up while you're swinging, which we don't really see. Like I can see in kickboxing, if they came over, I just laugh. I said, Look, he's got to get his leg, to get his leg over his hip, or you could just see the hands are down, or you know, because I've done it all my life, so and like they have. But do you know what? You take your losses and you come back, and that's why to me that was a good one because I took my losses on the chin. That virtually. I didn't laugh at them because <laughs> one, they hurt, and two, it does hurt inside, do you know what I mean? But I came back. I got my win, and now I'm going back again to keep going, and I'll keep going until I win. So it's just me, isn't it? Just keep going. You've got to keep fucking fighting. Life ain't easy, <laughs> but you make the choices. I made the choices to do it. So yeah, it's amazing though. You'll never give up. It's a great mindset to have. You know, it's incredible on on many levels. There's a lot of things you said there that are really actually quite powerful uh, statements as well. Obviously, something else about this, you know, because I did say at the beginning, you're an elite fighter. You're very, you're very humble about it, but, you know, you are an elite fighter, everything you've accomplished in, in your life so far. Obviously, in your life so far, there's been a few other things that, that you've overcome. And like I said to you at the beginning, I only touch on this for the purposes of inspiration, so I never dwell on, on any negative. But, you know, lots of people go through different things that are difficult, but, you know, only some people sort of bounce back. And you said earlier about young fighters watching this, and yes, there, there are some... So I definitely want to sort of inspire them. Now, with a bit of information that is out there publicly, when you, you know, anyone looks you up, you read the Tola Line thing, uh, article that's out there. It talks about you going from like earning 100 grand a year to basically being locked up. Now, I'm not sure if, if the story is as simple as that or if there's more to it. But just talk to us about a little bit about that time in your life, some of what you came through, but mostly, you know, how you overcame it, because that's, more what I'm interested in, you know, more than than than, than what happened. And is there anything you'd like to share? Because I know obviously it's not an easy time, and it's not always easy to talk about, you know, dark times in in our lives. But anything you'd like to share that you think would help people? Um, let's get into that side of it. Let's go. Let's talk. Yeah, about listen, it. everything you read is the truth. I mean, that was an interview with a friend of mine, Pablo. He's cool. He's a good guy. And um, the reason why I don't talk a lot about it is because you know what? Everybody has a bloody hard times. Everybody struggles. You know. You know, mental health, it seems to be a cool thing everyone mentions at the moment. And you know what? It is what it is. You know, it's uh, drinking drugs has a lot to do with everything. Do you know, um, I don't go into too much depth. Yeah. Do you know what? I used to, you know, I used to smash out. I used to work in the city as a medical rep, as a consultant. Um, got involved with drinking and other things. I ended up doing crazy things, stupid things, you know. And um, it locked up. And also, you know, seeing what really mental health, not just locked up, locked up in other places, you know, where, you know, you really see what mental health is all about. Mentally unwell people that are born mentally unwell and, uh, you know, that harm themselves seriously, cuts and scars all up their faces. And, and you know, what is sad, you know? And But what isn't sad is mine was self-inflicted. So I've got out of it, you know? But what if you don't, you know? It's all these guys, oh yeah, I'm depressed. Well, don't take drugs, you know what I mean? Don't take drink. I'm not saying everybody. Some people do suffer with depression. A lot of people do. And a lot of people have drink and drug problems. That's life, you know. Why am I talking about it? Because it's like promoting it. It's not, it's not fucking cool. It's not funny. Do you know what I mean? It's so you end up with nothing in the end um, or in a place you can't get out of unless they tell you you can leave. And I don't mean a prison sentence, you know, whether they, they decide whether you're fit for society, you know. And that's the real life of mental health, you know. Um, but you know what? Everybody needs help. Everybody, you know. And I'm not saying anybody's disease or, or problem is any worse than anybody else's. If you're born with it, it's very, very sad, which I'm not, by the way. Um, but you know what? It's um, if it, the only message I'll get out to people is <laughs> just don't do too much of anything. <laughs> um, you know, I'm no, I'm not here to preach. You know what I mean? But you know, all I can say is my, 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 uh, 
you know, my with the problems I've had and drink, you know, I still drink, you know what I mean? I enjoy drinking, but you know, other things have to, especially if it affects you mentally, do you know what I mean? Um, you know, you have to be very careful, you know, and you end up losing everything. Like I said, you know, it wasn't just, you know, a good salary, do you know what I mean? I mean, a great salary, you know, <laughs> cars that, you know, <laughs> Aston Martins, SL55, everything you can ever imagine. I don't talk about it because it's like muggy. Like, and I don't have it now. She's gutted, you know. Properties that, you know, you rent out of its fund, you know what I mean? And, you know, with the company, as a bonus, we get us a charter yacht in the south of France for three days, you know, all the sales team. You know, it's, you know, it was a good life, but you know, life changes, life moves on. Um, if I'm honest, I'm happier now, much happier. That's why I don't talk about it because it wasn't really a happy part of your life. If you're drinking or doing things, you're obviously not happy, you know? And that's where I guess where the mental health comes in, but I ain't a doctor not to talk about it, but that's all I can say from my side of it, you know? You know if you're drinking all day and, you know, doing things, <laughs> I'm getting annoyed with people, you're obviously not happy. So that's it. I'm happy now. I'm stable. Do you know what I mean? It's cool. Stable. Sounds nuts. But uh, no, I mean, it's good. It's good life. Do you know what I mean? It's, uh, I don't have, you know, what I used to have. A lovely girlfriend, lovely baby. You know, we just get on. Do you know, it's just done. I fight because it's enjoyable. That's it. I'm never going to be world champ. So, you know, you know, but uh, it's good. It's good. It's good life. But yeah, no, you know, I've lived. I have lived, definitely. You know, I've enjoyed my life. So, Enjoy my life. I've got plenty left in me, plenty. If not a few more sunbirds, and I'll be there. <laughs> Look at me younger. <laughs> That's the plan. Don't want to get old. So, yeah, it's cool, bro. That's it. So, yeah, no, I've lived, I've, uh, I've done some uh, silly things in my life. But, you know, I'm here now, not to uh, not to make a, or be a world champion or if I enjoy fighting. So, I'll keep fighting as long as I can. Got a few years left in me, I think. Hopefully, another two years. And go from there, do you know? Maybe go back to selling. I don't know. Um, you probably never give up fight. Once you're a fight, you never give up, I guess. You know, if you get given the offer, why would you not fight? You know, like I said, it's not a big deal like some people make out. You know, if someone said to me next week, can you come here? Too friggin' right, we'll be there now. <laughs> you know, I'll go there now. Do you know, it's um, and that's not giving it the big, and I would I enjoy it, I enjoy it. So, yeah, incredible. Well, like I said before, it really is an inspirational story, and I know obviously, you know, you're like a very humble guy, so you know, with even with everything you've been through there you know you're very easy going about it but it is incredible you know coming back from that and i know different people go through different things and some people talk about it more and some people talk about it less and everything but i really wanted to give it a mention because it you know it is it is a powerful story and it does show some people what's possible um as well you know in life and, and that's a big part of you know why i do these these interviews as well is to inspire people so you know it's, it's really good to, to give that a mention as well um, obviously, you know, we've touched on Spartan, we've touched on Taekwondo, kickboxing, and obviously, uh, obviously the future as well. I mean, you're quite easy going about it. One last thing I wanted to, I wanted to ask, I mean, you go into these fights and you sound super chill. I mean, you don't, I, mean I know you're very experienced as a fighter. Nah, it's good. Let, let me yeah. stop you there. Let me stop you there. That is a front. Any man that fight, any person that fights is nervous. Every man. One thing I was yeah. taught when I was young, whatever you feel, they feel. So no, you, everyone's nervous. Everybody's worried, but that's part of the that's part of the hide, you know. Turning up, being nervous, you know. People pretend to give it a bit. Oh, I do this, I do that. Bollocks, you, you know. You do what you can do, but you're nervous. Everyone's nervous, you know. Everyone's I'm not worried. You know, what I'm worried about not getting hurt. You're worried about looking at a prat like that. I'm being 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 knocked down instantly. Do you know what I mean? Knocked down, not knocked out. By the way, two different things. <laughs> no, the joke. But he said he knocked me down straight away. But you know what? That's that's the bit you don't want. You know, you don't want it straight away. But that's life. That's that's what you sign up for. It's what it is. You know, that's yeah, that's the nerve wracking. But you're not nervous about getting hurt. You know, you're not nervous. Well, I don't think so. I'm not. So you get nervous about the whole perform. You know, the whole performance, the, the build up, and being there all day and shaking hands with him and waiting in and having interviews and sitting there waiting, waiting, waiting. Once it starts, it's just if you train, it's just normal. But um, yeah, it's not um, it's not comfortable. It's not comfortable for anybody. They say it is. It's not, you know, whatever you feel, they feel competed. You know, lots of different sports with this bare knuckle, taekwondo, kickboxing. It's the same. It's still a competition. You want to beat them. So it's competition. And that's the nerve wracking bit, really, mate. It's, um, yeah. you know, if, and if, you know what? If you honestly don't care, if you don't care about toss like these people, I'm going to war, I'm going to kill him, then you're a psychopath. You know, you're a frigging nutcase. Because let me tell you, I speak to lots of people that, that fight regularly, pros. They say the same, you know, it's nervous as part of it. I do get nervous, you know. It's uh, everyone gets nervous. And if they don't, if they're saying not the lies or the nuts. 
<laughs> yeah, well, that's that's a really good insight into it, though, into the, the thing as well. Because when any fight fans watching this, as, as well as other pro fighters, you know, that's a really good insight into something they don't see as well, you know, because you don't see behind the scenes and people in the game like you and me, you know, we know what goes on. But obviously, you know, in other cases, you know, that the fans, they, they just see what people say. So I think it's really good to, to give them an insight into it as well. Um, and, and obviously on the subject of the fans as well, that's, that's actually pretty much my last question because, you know, we've gone into some good stuff here. Is, you know, you do have some loyal supporters out there from what I see on social media, you know, a lot of people, and I know social media, people always talk about the haters and this and that, and then everybody gets them and, and that's fine. But in terms of like with yourself, I see a lot of support, a lot of love on there, even with this with Spartan, you know, there's a lot of excitement about it. So obviously some of the people watching this, it, it might be their first time they've, they've sort of seen you or their first exposure. And other people will be sort of diehard people that have followed like every fight that you've had or followed you for years and years. So to your fans, you know, they're watching this, listening to this, whatever, what would you say to them? You know, what would be some words? Well, listen, you... everybody that support, I don't think any of us really have friends. We sort of have friends and family and people that like what you put up, really. Half the other people want you to lose. Even your own family, half of them want you to lose. Do you remember that? So, you know what? Listen, thanks for everyone that bought tickets because this fight isn't at my home ground. It's miles away and I've sold a lot, but about 30 above my local guys here, which is probably 10 or 12. That's what I mean. Really, out of your close friends, look who's there, look who's, who's bought. Thanks to everyone that bought tickets. Um, still five weeks out. More tickets will be on the way. It's going to be a great show, great punch up, you know, beers after. You know, like I said, it's, um, you know, on social media, half your supporters aren't supporters. Um, and your real ones will buy tickets, won't they? You know, to, to support you and um, watch you win or lose, you know, and uh, be part of the journey, I guess, you know, and uh, hopefully enjoy it, you know. So, uh, yeah, thank you to all the guys. Thank you to everybody that's bought tickets. I appreciate it. Incredible. Yeah, I just, I love to give them a shout out because obviously, just, you know, the sport will be nothing without the people who, at the end of the day, you know, put hands in their pockets and, and, and share everything. So, but you know, champ, you know, we've gone into some really good stuff today and, and I love your energy, you know, and how sort of passionate you are about what you talk about and, and how open you are and everything like that. So I just want to say, obviously, a big thank you for bringing that. Hey, thank you for the energy, bro. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching. Um, please subscribe to the Simply Inspired YouTube channel and there'll be more videos coming soon.